if you have a appointment, I still want you to do this. So you can look at what we did for the day. Okay, and let me get my chat up. Okay. Do, do, do. Um, wait, are we on the end? We're on the wrong, I'm on the wrong one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a different PowerPoint. <laughs> because um, I didn't have the other PowerPoint pulled up, but I have it here. Beautiful. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, first I want to ask you, because I got it yesterday. Did you get, and hopefully you got this novel. I'm going to share my screen again, my video. Hopefully you got this book. You were supposed to go to the school a while ago and get this book, um, Thunder Rolling in the Mountains and a workbook. Beautiful. If you have not gotten this yet, I want you to get it because I think it's lesson seven. Oh, I see people that have it. Oh, in the workbook. Beautiful. You guys, these things that we've been reading, for example, uh, the new nation comes to Indian territory. This is in your workbook. Harper, I see that workbook. Could you, I don't know what page it is. Are you able to find the article that we read on Tuesday, A New Nation Comes to Indian Country? Or somebody that has that workbook? Ooh, what page is that, Berkeley? I have the workbook. Um, it doesn't say the page, but it says, um, it, there's like, at the start of the book, it says all the ones that are in here, so you can kind of see like which ones are in there. Okay. So, um, I was going to do the boxes and bullets organizer in there, Okay. but um, the boxes and bullets organizer that's in here, both of them say main idea creators and gifts and stuff. Oh. So if you did do it in here, you'd have to class out creators and write. Okay. Uh, Beautiful. So that brings me then, you guys, if you would rather do your work in your workbook and then take a picture and send that in, I'm okay. Bye. Okay. I am okay if you work on the workbook or if, cause I'm somebody too, that I like paper and I got, okay, it's not a workbook, but I have the teacher's test. I'm going to do it cause, cause I really want to do it. Okay. Do English yep. before I like So if you, um, cause yeah, I have, whew, this is a lot thicker. I ended up writing it out, but I just got mine cause I was gone. But if you want to read these things in your workbook, okay, um, you are more than welcome to. One of the things that I do is when I'm done with a section, because we're, you know, we're doing it by lesson, is if you have a post, uh, post-it, that's kind of a, a good tip, is put a post-it where we're doing things, okay? Um, that way, if for the next one, you know that it's going to be a couple pages after, okay? So you can write in your boxes and bullets in your workbook or and take a picture and send that in or you can do it in notability i do not mind either way like i said i'm somebody that i like the big book and i like to write stuff i remember it better um but if you um want to do it digitally or on paper i am okay either way i would just click on it to make sure that you have the right one and like berkeley said there was an error in the boxes and bullets organizer today and um, if you just crossed it out, I will accept it as well. Okay, so if you don't have these two things, I would recommend going to the school and getting them because we are going to, in a couple weeks, um, start reading this, okay? And I don't have a PDF of this, so you need the hard copy, okay? Don't write in this book. You can write in your um, workbook, though. Okay, so my PowerPoint, where are we? Um, share my screen. Ooh. And I haven't used PowerPoint in years. So let me see what we got. Turn subtitles on. I don't want subtitles. Oh no, it, 
Maybe I can't present because it is showing it's showing the wrong screen. So I will do it this way. So I hopefully you have this book. And our question that we're kind of looking at today is, ooh, how did the United States change after the Lewis and Clark expedition? So I want you to think about this right now. Um, and because you read the article yesterday and maybe you know a little bit, get your chat ready. Ooh, there you go. So some of you guys know that knew that you have to go get it. I want you to write in the chat. How do you think, so you don't only have to write something like maybe one or a couple small things. You don't have to do complete sentences. Answer this question. How did the United States change? So how did the Indian country change after the Lewis and Clark expedition? Write that in the chat. Oh, where do you get the, no, the workbook and stuff? You should get it at school. So your parents are going to have to go pick it up. Okay. So in the chat, answer this question. You can write something short, write something long, maybe copy something from the text. Okay. Or if you just know something. Ooh, beautiful. Some of you guys are starting to write some things. I'm going to take a moment to think. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to start reading what some people wrote. Okay, keep writing. If it's something similar, I want you to repeat it. Okay, so if you had something similar, repeat it. That must, must mean it's good. So mm, it expanded. Okay. New settlers came in, called the land as their own. Culture changed. Um, they exchange, they ex expanded. Ooh, I like, like it again. New people came and lived there. A um, ton of people came over from different countries and went to the westward expansion and squished the Native Americans into small space. Ooh, it changed a lot. Ooh, this is a great complete sense because it got bigger and people realized there's a diversity of wildlife and things they had to learn about. Um, there was an area that had more land for settlers. Those are all really great things. Thank you for participating, ladies and gentlemen. That's how I know you're here. Okay, so, oh, we already shared them. What we're going to focus on today, so our main question in this section is, how do cultural beliefs, value, and values guide a people, and how did it impact the Native Americans of the West? So, what we're going to talk about today is our text. And we're going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to identify these kinds of texts. This is actually um, a informational text. So if you look at this, an informational text, um, it is a text that has a lot of information. Okay. And it's usually about a single topic. What we're going to start focusing on, we've been doing kind of those main ideas, is we're going to look at a summary now. Okay. We're going to talk about the summaries of this whole text, because maybe, for example, I want to read our big book, okay? And instead of reading the whole book, I'm going to look at the summary to see if it's something that I maybe could use. So, for example, our novel that we are going to be reading, the summary is, um, oh, actually, it has a quote. Oh, does it have a summary? Let's see. I don't know if this has a summary. Ooh, maybe it doesn't. I think it might just have quotes. But I could find online a summary of this text and see if it's a summary that I actually want to read. Okay. In general, it is a much shorter version of a longer text. Okay. So if I don't want to read this whole big text on the Indian country, maybe I would just read a quick short summary of it to figure out what it is. It tells us the main or central ideas and key details of the text. Hmm, maybe that's why the things we've been doing is important. It doesn't include opinions or feelings though. Okay, so one of the things with a summary that I often see with students in sixth grade is they have I think, or I feel, or I don't like. This doesn't have any opinions or feelings. It's only facts about your book or about the summary. And it uses your own words as well as maybe keywords from the text, okay? 
So maybe it might use some keywords. So if we're going to do a summary about this, it might talk about Indian country, okay, instead of just the Indian land. Maybe it would use some of the vocabulary at the bottom, like um, treaty, or it might use the word superseded, okay? So it might use some of these key things. A key word that we're going to really start learning about it. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to have, I'm going to show you guys this text. Okay. And this is three a, you don't have it because I figured you could just look here. So let me find it really quick. Um, we are in three. Hey, so here's a quick view of what a informational text. So it is a shorter version, tells the main ideas, it doesn't include your opinions or feelings, and has mostly your own words and keywords from the text. So for example, for example, so one of the things we're gonna end up doing, so I'm gonna pull this up quite a bit, is one of your, so you're actually your first big, um, like your assignment, so one of the things you're gonna get graded on eventually is to create a summary. Okay, so that's why we're going to start learning about how to do a summary. So you're going to state the main idea of the text. We're going to tell about what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end of the text, and then kind of a concluding statement. So if you look, normally a summary has one, two, three, four, five, at least five sentences. Okay, do you have any questions just briefly about a summary? Okay. We're going to work on this a lot more. So like I said, we are going to look at this a whole bunch and we are going to do lots of um, practice with a summary starting today. So one of the things that it talks about in here is, ooh, it might have a key detail or it might use key words from the text. So we're actually going to look at one key word that is important in this section, and that is the word reinforce, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my vocabulary because you were supposed to do vocabulary yesterday, and I'm going to add something to it. Ooh, I need to start a new, ooh, do I have, I don't have any more pages. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to go, you shouldn't have any pages either, is what I'm assuming, is I'm going to click on, you know what, I don't have any pages, so I'm just going to add it at the bottom. I'll do a journal tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to add this word, reinforce, so this is ID, and you can write it here. So this new word, that we're going to add to the bottom is reinforce, okay? And it means to add extra support, okay? So we actually might hear this word in the news lately because of um, our the presidential inauguration that's coming up. They're having a lot of reinforcements come or they're putting a lot of reinforcements around the Capitol to help protect the people that attend it. Okay. If you noticed, actually I saw on the news this morning, they have reinforcements in our state capitol too. The National Guard is there. So they have extra support to help. Okay. So ooh, what is maybe a synonym of reinforcement? Does anybody have a synonym of reinforcement? Think of another thing. Support. Ooh, we could just say support. Okay. So I could say support in general. Okay. Um, we could say uh -oh, reinforce. We could say build up, okay, or to boost something or increase something, okay. Beautiful. Mm. So, um, 
Oh, where is my vocabulary? I had you guys do vocabulary. Did I miss it? Hmm. Okay. Um, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to look to see where I had your vocabulary. I think I might have had it for um, one of the future lessons. So we're not going to, you guys were supposed to the er, earlier do the word and the meaning here. And so I think with the next lesson, we're going to do the synonym. Okay, so what we're going to do is hopefully you have this reinforced written down. We are going to pull up so you can look at it in your um, workbook or here. And we are going to continue looking at our article. A new nation comes to Indian country. Mm. Okay. So you were supposed to have read this first part with the lady. I don't remember her name. I should probably, instead of calling her the lady, um, find her name. But we are today going to read New Settlers, Miners, and Ranchers. And we are going to finish this. Okay, so, ooh, it looks like you already read New Settlers. And we're going to finish Miners, Ranchers. And what we're going to focus today is the summary. Okay? So, Really quickly, Ooh. I'm going to read, reread this first part okay? because I want you to know what's going on. And then we are going to dive deeper since you've already looked at this first page with the, the, the lady. <laughs> We're going to do our dive with miners and ranchers. Afterwards, just so that you know, I'm going to put you in a group of three. And I'm, just, I'm going to have you say, okay, I'm going to actually have you split up in the group of three. And each of you are going to be a person. You're either going to be a new settler, you're either going to be a miner, or you're either going to be a rancher. And you're going to explain to the other group or your other group members what was your part in the new country. Okay? So just to let you know. So pay attention to what the settlers did what the miners did, and what the ranchers did, okay? So just so you know, the activity that's going to come up. Okay. I'm going to start reading. I know that was a lot of information, but I'm going to start reading, and you should already have this first part, this first page in your um, boxes and bullets. If not, you should watch the video from Tuesday. A new nation comes to the Indian country. Little changed in the Indian country in the first years after Lewis and Clark's journey. The Corps of Discovery had failed to find an easy route to the Pacific, and a few people wanted to follow their difficult path. But the expedition had put American boots on the ground for the first time. In addition, the information it compiled documented a vast new territory ready for national expansion. West of the Mississippi, or Missouri River that expanded began gradually, a profitable first trade encouraged outposts and new settlements. After 1850, gold rushes in California, Montana, and Oregon built those remote settlements into towns. Over time, open land attracted settlers. The coming of net railroads completed the transformation of the region. By century's end, the Americas had a new name for Indian country. They now called it the West. This process was not a peaceful one. Rather, it was punctuated by violence and military conflict. This section illustrates the ways that the different aspects of the American expansion, mining, homesteading, and ranching, altered and undermined the traditions and institutions of the Indian country. So, for new settlers, I'll have you guys, I'll start taking volunteers on page two to read, okay? So if you want to put your hand up for page two, um, you are more than welcome to. New settlers. Three events near mid-century unleashed a flood of American settlement across the Indian country. In 1846, a treaty with Great Britain fixed the northern boundary of the United States at the 49th parallel, securing the American title to the Columbia River country. Two years later, the discovery of gold in California began a rush that attracted 250,000 people to what 
had been a distant providence of the young Republic of Mexico. At almost the same time, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo ended the Mexican-American War and transferred a massive arc of new territory to the United States. Suddenly, the United States had become a continental power. Settlers, merchants, and entrepreneurs headed west from St. Louis were now eager to set up American institutions across the Indian country. They assumed that the land was theirs and what their needs superseded those of the existing Indian communities. By the centennial, so centennial means a hundred years of the Lewis and Clark expedition in 1904, more than 6 million new people had moved to the territory first visited by the Corpse of Discovery. Okay, beautiful. When I have these people read, we're going to read minors first. I want you to underline unknown words. Okay, so underline unknown words. Oops. Unknown words. I'll make this bigger. And I want you to highlight, or you can just make it a little bit, um, you, can, you can underline it too if that helps. Highlight. Um, key ideas we can possibly use. Okay, so underline word or highlight key ideas. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Well, um, Greta starts reading the first paragraph and Riley reads the second paragraph. Okay. From the days of Columbus, European expansion was driven by the stories of gold and silver waiting to be gathered up by the energetic explorers. In the 19th century, Americans often rushed to the native lands to claim their share of these rumored riches. Such episodes usually terrified lo local Indian communities because they attracted groups of young men who were traveling without families and were often prone to violence. Among the most um, traumatic gold rushes in 19th century was one triggered by the discovery of gold on lands of Nez Perces had reserved for themselves in 1855 agreement with Governor um, Stevens. The invasion of the reserve reservation set off disputes with young miners who were often unaware of that they have were trespassing on trivial property. Furthermore, there were arguments within the tribe over how best to respond to the crisis. Beautiful. So some of you guys might have highlighted and underlined the same things as me. There might be other things though um, that I didn't do, but you did. Are there any words that you guys underlined that I didn't, that you didn't know? You can tell me in the web. Um, I had one, but it was in the ones under the text. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, in you dated, um, Ooh, is it in the first paragraph here or the second paragraph? Wait, wait. no, not that one. Sorry. Um, is it in under ranchers? No, gender minors. Okay, so you... Uh, well, not not that word. Uh, okay. Where is the one? Um, tra traumatic. Traumatic? Okay, that's one that I have highlighted too. Anybody else? It, something else? I have a different word that I don't have. Any other ones? Tribal property, but then I thought about it, and now I know what it means. Okay, I've got that one. Ooh, disputes. Um, where is disputes? Um, Highlighted in the second. Paragraph? Yeah. Um, okay, disputes. Here we go. Is there any other word? Okay. So, episodes. Not like episodes of Spongebob. Episodes are like... Um, you can say like small, how do I want to say episodes? Do they have it down here? Nope. Okay, so such episodes, so such, um, you could say um, actions or such um, things that happened. Okay, 
So I wrote such, so in the 19th century, Americans often rushed to native lands to claim these rumored riches. Such actions were usually uh, ter with terrified local Indian communities. Traumatic means like terrible. So like if you got into a car crash, that would be traumatic. It would kind of, um, it's kind of like a long-term bad memory or um, action. Okay, so traumatic is one of the most worst memories or terrible things that happened or gold rushes was one that triggered. So that means that it was started by the discovery of gold. Okay, so these um, bad memories, so the worst bad actions that happened started with the discovery of gold. Okay, a dispute is an argument. I have a question. Yeah. Are we supposed to be writing down the meanings with you? Um, you don't have to. If there is a word that you think that um, it would be good to, I would. So if there was specifically one that you're like, oh, yes, I want to remember that. I'm mostly doing this to help you guys out for with reading it. And it's if you at least underlined it, I'll be okay with it. Um, trespassing on tribal property means that they are um, without permission. going on to Indian land. So going on to tribal means like that, that tribe. Um, okay, so they, the miners were often unaware that they were going on without permission onto Indian land, okay? So I highlighted some key ideas. I'm sure you have, guys have some key ideas, so let's, Right here, under minors, some key ideas. Does anybody, um, why don't you write it? Um, ooh, somebody ended up helping me out with some of the words. I would like you guys to either come on the web or you can write in the um, chat, what is a key idea that we could maybe do? We could um, maybe do that. that. Like, um... Uh, the invasion of their reservation set up disputes. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, so I'm actually in Notability. I can probably copy it. Ooh. So I'm going to add that here. The invasion of the reservation set off disputes. Okay, and I'm going to actually add this, say, between, because it doesn't say who, between, I'm going to say between, um, Miners, so people, be, I'll just say between people and Indians. I'm going to say Native Americans. Because that Indians was a word given by Columbus thinking he was um, in India, and they're not. Okay. So the invasion of their reservation set off disputes between people and Native Americans. I will go back to it here in a second. What is another main idea? Does somebody want to come on the web or tell me in the chat um, another thing that maybe happened? I think maybe um, with young minors who are often unaware that they were trespassing on tribal property, because it kind of explains that um, people were unaware and they basically stole the land without, like, without um, thinking even about checking. It. Yeah, without thinking that maybe, possibly, someone else was living there. They just, like, went ahead and, like, rushed to the conclusion that no one else was living here. This is my land. Yeah. Oh, what happened to the rest of my, what happened to my worksheet? Something there. There was a glitch with my uh, notability. Did you guys see my whole notability ended up disappearing? My worksheet. Okay. You would double click on your or on your computer. Are you on your computer? Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> I don't know oh, how so it, was. It, it It just disappeared. Um, I will try to um, mark down then where things are, because this was I. 
it is literally that sheet and I don't know what happened. Let me, let me try exploring it really quick. Seeing if I can re Nope, it for some reason deleted the back part. Okay, so this is the, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna highlight it. You're being, you're being ignored, Who, what are you being ignored? Okay, so this is key ideas. Okay, so could somebody, actually, I want the class now. In the chat, I want lots of people to tell me. So this is under minors. What is a what is the key idea of this section? I need you to write um, in the to everyone. What is the key idea under minors, or what is the main idea? Sorry, what is the main idea? I want you to write in the chat. We've got Kedia's invasion of reservation set up disputes. Minors were often unaware that they are trespassing. Um, I want Did you slow down because I'm. I haven't wrote the second detail yet. Okay. okay, that's fine. Um, so tell me in the idea. Ooh, some people are starting to write. I don't want you to write. I agree. I want you to write a main idea. So rewrite it because that is how it's going to yes i'm making you do a little bit extra work guys but that's how we're going to learn some of these um these things especially at the beginning we tend to do a little bit more writing Ooh, some people wrote main idea so I also, I don't want you to write, I agree. I want you to rewrite the main idea. So I want you to write what a main idea could be. Or if you agree with them, maybe say it in your own words, actually, that would be better. While you're doing that, I'm gonna take attendance. Okay, I'm going to start reading because some of you guys are still writing. Thank you. Beautiful job. I'm going to read. Some people have. Make this bigger. Gold rushes created many problems within the Native American tribes. Um, a lot of people came to America to be miners for gold and it caused problems with the Native Americans. When the Native Americans moved west and, hap and something happened when they did. The gold rush and how miners invaded Native American reserves or reservations. People came to America to mine for gold. Yeah. Miners looking for gold caused problems with the Native Americans. Yeah, we looked at problems and disputes. Um, people came to mine gold on the property of the Native Americans and it caused problems. Oh, I see a very common theme. This is why we're I'm having everybody kind of participate. Because if we find something that's common, chances are that's right. Or if we find something that's common that's wrong, well, we then learn, can learn together how to fix it. People came from all over the U.S. and set and set up disputes between people and Native Americans because they were invading property without checking first. People such as miners find out that there is gold, so they came to dig for gold, create a lot of problems with the Native Americans. A lot of people moved west, and miners were unaware that they were trespassing, and it caused problems. And people came to America to be miners of gold, and it took over the Native Americans. I saw some very, a very common thing. I saw very commonly the word trespassing and problems. So I'm going to have the main idea that I write here. You can either write what you wrote or you can write what we're going to write together. So I'm going to say um, with new people moving west, uh -huh. okay, it created, and here's one of the words I saw commonly, it created problems with the Native Americans. Ooh, I'm going to capitalize Native Americans because that is a title. 
It created problems with the Native Americans when miners trespassed. Ooh, that's another word I saw commonly on their land. Mm -hmm. So it caused lots of problems when the miners trespassed on their land. Beautiful. Man, you guys are awesome at this. We're going to do the second one a little bit quicker because I want to focus on a summary today. Oh, and I want you guys to be able to talk about really quick. What did you do as your... Mrs. Wars... Yeah? Warsing. I honestly think... Um, maybe in the main idea, we could tell why the miners came in and trespassed on their land. Yeah, you could say it was new people moving west for the gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could add that in. Okay. Ooh, you know, hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided if, um, yeah, okay. I'm going to move back to our article, and I would like, um, uh, Riley, you already, did you already read one? Yeah. I'm going to have Harper read paragraph two and Greta read paragraph three. Could you please start reading that paragraph for us? Yeah. Ranchers. After the American Civil War, while homesteaders built farms in the West and miners filed claims in remote mountains, cattle and sheep ranchers moved into the arid northern plains and the plateau of the plateau country of eastern Oregon to raise food for the nation's growing cities. While native people weren't happy about the displacement of buffalo by stock animals, Many tribal communities found ranching offered an attractive way to make a living. It preserved traditional gender roles and allowed for a seasonal round of herding activities. Mm -hmm. okay. Ranching attracted thousands of outsiders to the Indian country. These newcomers quickly exhausted the available public land, pressed Western tribes to open new areas for non-Indian ranching. These white, white ranchers urged federal authorities to permit them to graze their herds on what they saw as unused Indian lands and to build ambitious dam and irrigation projects. Indian communities along the Lewis and Clark route were often the hardest hit by these changes. Many groups lost control over their land and water resources or watched helplessly as federally built dams inundated and destroyed their homes. Okay, beautiful. So a couple words really quick. Plateau is a flat piece of land. So when we talked about the Northern Plains and a flat country, um, Eastern Oregon, okay? Authorities are like the police and, or their police at that time. And they used Indian lands to build dams, which is like a blockade for water. And irrigation is like sending water to different areas, okay? So they used a lot of the water. Okay, and inuated is um, oh, it's a they covered or spread out with water. Okay, so those dams spread out over um, a big area and kind of destroy the land. Okay, um, maybe you are still finding highlighting some key ideas. Um, what are some key ideas? Um, so you can just come on the web and tell me what are some key ideas that we could potentially write um, on our. Um. The west, the western tribes to, they like opened new areas for non-Indian ranching. Okay, so the western tribes opened areas for non-Indian ranching. I like that. So I'm gonna say newcomers. Um, pressed, the new tribe. So let me write key ideas here. Key ideas. So I'm gonna say the newcomers. Um, pressed Western tribes to open uh, new areas for non-Indian ranching. Okay. 
beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna uh, back and forth. Is there something else? Um, I said that dams destroy Native American homes. Oh, I like that. So dams and irrigations destroy Native American homes. I'm gonna write that. Ooh, and I'm going to use one of those words that I didn't know. Dams and irrigation destroyed Native American homes. Oops, and irrigation does not need to be capitalized. Okay, so maybe our main idea, I'm just going to write one up here. Idea is... Um, People used native land or cattle. And um, I'm gonna say irrigation because that's gonna that's kind of for using it for water. People use native land for cattle and irrigation, and it was without permission. Okay? And I'm going to say, this is for ranchers, since my document completely disappeared. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put you in, oh, how many kids do I have? 19, 19 divided by three, let's see, 18 divided by three, six groups. So I'm going to, we're going to do something a little different. And this is going to help us with the summary. I'm going to put you in a group of three. In your group of three, you're going to decide, um, let's see, what did I say? Six groups. So you're going to decide, are you a rancher? So just quickly, because we don't have, we're running out of time. I want you to say, I'm going to be a rancher. One person's going to be a miner. And one person's going to be a uh, settler. Is that the other one? Rancher, miner, and settler. Okay. And I want you to say, I'm a miner. And I want you to tell the group, um, oh, you can take, a couple seconds to think about what you're going to say. And I want you to say, oh, I'm a miner. And I moved into the Native American lands because um, I was looking for gold. Or I want you to say, so pretend you're that person. So pretend you're a settler or a miner or a rancher. And I want you to tell me, um, or tell your group why you moved on to Native American lands and what problems it created. Okay, so let me write that here. You're going to say, okay. Who, you're going to decide who you are. Okay, so decide who you are. Okay, so settler, rancher, or miner. Oop, no cancer. Rancher or miner. Okay, tell me um, what you did and what problems it caused to your group, okay? And if you want to give yourself a name, that's fine. I'm Bob. I was a miner. Okay. What did you, what did you, what did you do? Okay. Questions. Okay. You are going to have um, only about, I'm only going to give you three minutes. So that means you get a minute each. Oop. You get a minute for each, um, for each person. Okay. Beautiful. Start.
Mm-hmm. 